morning guys. I'm leaving camp. It's about 8.15. Um, slept pretty good last night. My uh, kind of had an incline a little bit, but my head was up at the top. So I actually slept a little bit better than I normally would. I think the only problem I had was um, I didn't have any widow makers above me, but I had a tree that was creaking, which was making me nervous. So every time the wind would really kick, kick up, I would hear that tree creaking and it would wake me up and but it wasn't bad so we are planning on doing 15 miles today and uh so I'm, i the guys are just now getting packed up well they're packed up but they're having breakfast so um i decided to go ahead and head out because i know they're fast so they'll catch me um I'll probably stop at Sheldon Graves at some point and maybe take a break there. Um, but yeah, 15 miles today. I have my <laughs> coffee concoction right here. Not meant to fit in this <laughs> water bottle holder, but uh, I'm making it work. I need my coffee. I just don't want to do my stove and all that. So that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to kind of take my time today and just enjoy everything around me. I know how far I gotta go. I don't have to rush. So, I'm just gonna kinda enjoy. We have one really big climb coming up. Um, I'm already climbing a little, but um, up to big, <laughs> I'm calling it butt. I don't know if it's butt or butte, but I'm calling it butt. But anyway, that's a big climb. And then, from then on it's mostly kind of small ups and downs to the shelters below. So it's not too bad. Um, but 15 miles is going to be, you know, hard regardless. So this is my breakfast drink I have in the morning. Uh, this Nalgene is a, a lightweight version of the regular Nalgene. And I mix two Carnation instant breakfast, one um, packet of instant coffee, some uh, t usually a tablespoon of protein powder, and a little bit of monk fruit sugar. And it tastes good, gives me a nice boost in the morning. I don't have to boil water and do all that. And uh, I usually will eat a bar as well, and then I'll stop later on and eat another bar, um, depending on how hard I'm working, which is pretty hard this morning. So I'm going to show you a picture of the far out app and the um, topographical feature on there and it shows you exactly where you are in your climb or what you know what kind of climbs you have for the day and descents. Uh, the blue bubble is me and that tells you you know where you are exactly on the trail and how much climbing you have left. Pretty neat feature actually. So Joe's up ahead of me already. He's a fast hiker. <laughs> he caught me way down on the trail, past me. They're all fast, actually. <laughs> That's why I start early, so that uh, I can uh, get ahead of them a little bit before they catch me. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty up here. Doesn't look like I should be breathing this hard, does it? But, uh, Incline after incline. It never looks like it on film. Um, wow, it's a big pile of poop. Bear scat, for sure. So this part is a really neat hike this morning. I am loving it. There's tons of um, berry bushes and stuff out here so I would imagine that when they come into season the, the um, berries are a favorite food of the bears and they probably love in this area it's really pretty if I was a bear I'd be here you know I think Joe was born to be out here <laughs> he is a fast strong hiker and he's a mountain goat oh my god the rocks yesterday he was just like, eh, this is nothing. <laughs> it's amazing how many 
headstones are up here along the way. Of course, after that climb, I can kind of understand it a little better. You know, not to make light of it or anything, but... Here we go again. This is the trail. So this is big, I'm calling it butt still, so uh, we're gonna climb up here. I took my pack off though, cause uh, no. Okay, so this might be a little lackluster where you're on the top of big butt. And not sure I can totally recommend it, but worth the climb, but it's kind of overgrown. Kind of neat though. See a little bit of the mountains over there. Not quite sure how I'm gonna get down. Maybe that's why they call it Big Butt, because I'll have to sit on my butt and scoot down. Gosh, this looks like what we just came through. Might better check and make sure I'm going the right way. What a morning. It's a lot warmer than yesterday. Yesterday was chilly all day, which was good for hiking, not good for stopping. But it's gonna be warm today. It's already, it's already warm. Oh, wow. Check that out. I love hearing the burbs. And oh man, is it pretty up here this morning. I love this meadow walking type stuff. Can't get over the beauty of this place. Thoroughly enjoying this this morning. Look at those mushrooms. They're huge. Crawling on that tree. Dead tree, I should say. Can you guys hear the turkeys? I can't see them, but I can hear them. <gasps> I wish I could see them. So this is Sheldon Graves. I'm gonna stop here and go check this out. I've always wanted to see the area. Oh my, what a beautiful place to be buried. What a tribute. Well, 
I pay my respects to you. So apparently a lot of people um, camp up here because uh, it's so nice and flat and, you know, with all due respect to the Sheldons, I think this would be a pass for me. But it is a beautiful spot and a beautiful resting place. So I'm going to stop here at the shelter, get a preview, take a break, eat some lunch, all of the above. I think we're about seven miles in right now. Not too bad. It's a nice little shelter. It's well built. Looks uh, pretty waterproof. It's nice. I think there's camp spots like up across the trail. So I've still got about nine miles to go. Um, I just had some lunch and uh, in three miles I'm going to stop and uh, fill up with water. I've still got some right now but I'm going to fill it back up in about three miles. And I'm going to get moving. I'm already <laughs> a little bit tired and it's only been seven miles. So oh, it's going to be a long day. So while I'm walking here in this relatively flat space, I just wanted to take a minute just to say thank you to all the people who are supporting me. It blows me away. Um, it just blows me away. But I just wanted you to know that it does mean a huge amount to me, every single person. And I just appreciate it so much. And I wanted to tell Greg too, I appreciate all the support you're giving me because you're stuck at home and you're handling all the you know the regular daily crap <laughs> and I just want you to know how much I appreciate it and and uh, you know it's a sacrifice on your part because um, this is a selfish thing and I do realize that but I just wanted to tell you thank you Awesome steps. <sighs> so I'm at that point of the day where I'm really tired again. Uh, I don't know what the deal is, but I am sleepy. I have new energy. Just uh, feeling tired. Uh, next water source is coming up in a little bit. I'm going to chug some electrolytes and uh, possibly eat a bar as well. See if that helps some. Okay, so we're coming down to a gap. And so it looks like the trail goes across the highway and through the pasture. I hope the bulls are in the corral. Oh, that's a cool change of pace. Right when I needed it. Water is in about eight tenths of a mile. So that's awesome. Pretty cool. So, Hogback Ridge Shelter is what I'm going for. 6.1 miles. Yeehaw! Also, and shout out to Carolina Mountain Club. You're doing a jamming job maintaining the trail and the um, shelters too. Wow. Must have been a tall man that put that bar up there. 
<sighs> this is what I keep smelling that smells so good. Guessing it's blackberries or something, but man. So this is pretty tempting, actually. But I'm not gonna do it. <sighs> I just think I'm gonna stop here and get some water. Take a little break, eat a snack. I'm loaded up with water. Um, ran into Joe, and uh, he said they didn't really have much in the way of uh, snacks and stuff, which is what I was looking for. I'm low on that. He said they just had a couple of Cokes left and um, a couple of Dr. Peppers, so I'm not going to walk down there. And I have a Luna bar I'm going to eat and uh, then get going, get that six... Six and a half miles knocked out. So anytime you see two blazes like this, this is an indication of a direction change. So your top blaze will be um, dictating which way you're going to go. So you're going to go to the left in this case. It means there's the trail that will turn to the left. If it was offset to on the other side, then you would go to the right. If they're directly vertical, then that means you're going to go over something else and then you're gonna keep going straight. Usually it's like a trail or, or, or dirt road even or something like that. This is nice. So these are the times that I start to doubt what I'm doing. I have five miles to camp, two, I'm in the middle of one massive climb and then we go down a bit and then there's another one and I'm tired my stomach's been bothering me all day long uh, I've been lucky enough to make it to the privies but you know this time <laughs> uh, if I can ever get off this knife edge here and you know get at the top I might be able to find a place but um, right now, there's just no place. So, yeah, I start to doubt things a little bit when I feel this way. I guess that's uh, pretty normal, though, for everybody. This is pretty. A little bit of a view. This is really pretty. We got a little bit of you. Looks like a highway over there somewhere. Bridge. It's pretty. I honestly was not sure I was going to make it. Pretty nice camp spots up here. I'm gonna have that to climb in the morning, but thank God I don't have to do it today. This was literally one of the hardest days. And dead man walking. This is gonna be an ibuprofen, Tylenol kind of night. I'm still not to the shelter yet. I think it's like two tenths of a mile or something off trail. Whatever. Okay, so I'm in bed. It is about 7.15 and um, I am literally exhausted. Uh, 16 miles today, but uh, hard miles. And uh, I'm, I'm wiped out. So, I couldn't even finish all my food. I'm saving my leftover macaroni and cheese for in the morning. I'll just eat it then. And, uh, mm, be cold, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, it was, uh, 
It was a nice day, but it was just a hard day. This is probably one of the hardest on trail. And, uh, anyway, I'm going to try to get some sleep. And I just took some Tylenol. And, uh, hopefully, well, the aches and pains won't be so bad in the morning. But anyway, um, see you in the morning.